Well, good morning again, everyone, and thank you so much for allowing me into your space this morning. I hope you're having a good week so far. My name is Lee Hart, and I'm so honored to be invited by the senior pastors Lloyd and Norma Hart to come to you this week. It's been a real joy just sharing with you simple stories from the Bible, things that we learn, how we can learn from Jesus and how we interacted with people. We're talking about time as one of the best gifts that we could give to someone. Today, I want to share with you about uh, the parable of the Good Samaritan. And I'll read it in Luke chapter 10. On one occasion, an expert in the law stood up to test Jesus. Teacher, he asked, what must I do to inherit eternal life? What is written in the law? He replied, how do you read it? He answered, love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind and love your neighbor as yourself. You have answered correctly, Jesus replied, do this and you will live. But he wanted to justify himself. So he asked Jesus, and who is my neighbor? In reply, Jesus said, a man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho. When he was attacked by robbers, they stripped him of his clothes, beat him and went away, leaving him half dead. A priest happened to be going down the same road. And when he saw the man, so too a Levite, when he came to the place and saw him pass by on the other side. But a Samaritan, as he traveled, came where the man was, and when he saw him, he basically, he took pity on him. He went to him and bandaged his wounds, pouring on oil and wine. Then he put the man on his own donkey, brought him to an inn and took care of him. The next day he took out two denarii and gave them to the innkeeper. Look after him, he said, and when I return, I will reimburse you for any extra expense you may have. Which of these three do you think was a neighbor to the man who fell into the hands of robbers? The expert in the law replied, the one who had mercy on him. And Jesus told him, go and do likewise. A story, a simple story that we all know so very well. We've heard it many times growing up. But what can we learn from this? What is our takeaway? What is the one thing that we can learn from this? What is Jesus saying? What is he teaching us? We could reflect, if we could just take time out today in your devotions, take time and read over this passage and reflect on what he's actually saying. Look at the care that happened, taking the time, taking the time. It wasn't a quick, I'll drop you off. He poured oil, wine, bandaged the wounds, took him on his own donkey, took him to a place that they could look after him and paid for that also. I'm talking about the care, the extent of the care that Jesus is talking about, that we should do the same to our neighbors, to our neighbor, basically. How can we do this? I challenge you today, once again, a simple message, but how we can live life like this. That's how Jesus did and how he expects us to live. Go and do the same. Go and do likewise. Do the same thing. This is what it's about. Simple. I believe that if you pray today and ask the Holy Spirit to sensitize you to the needs of others, when 
there's someone hurting the Holy Spirit is able to just bring that person to your mind that you can actually pick up the phone call them encourage them you know sometimes we're praying for someone and they, we just, they just come over our minds and we start praying for them to encourage them sometimes the Lord said get some groceries and give to that person do it do it it might seem strange it might seem like well they have enough but it's take the time follow through with it listen to the Holy Spirit so I trust that today, again, you'll be challenged that you would go and do likewise. Be encouraged today. May God bless you. Have a good day.